Hello Amphibian lovers, it's Amphibian Boss here and today I'm going to discuss filters with you guys for your amphibians. Now there are a lot of amphibians out there and there's a lot of amphibians that are terrestrial and they don't need a lot of water, just a water dish. Like there's Pac-Man frogs, salamanders, and tree frogs. They take the moisture from the plants, the anything that's on the glass, a water dish, or the substrate. Now there's some amphibians that take lots of water, like lots of newts, um, there's some salamanders, lots of frogs, fire belly toads, and there's some aquatic frogs like African dwarf frogs and African clawed frogs. Now these amphibians need water, lots of water, and a lot of them are very messy. So you're going to need a filter to filtrate all this mess. The thing you need to think about with your filter is the current that you need for your animal. Now there's some that hate current and you can't have any current at all or it will stress the animal out. There's some that don't mind current, you can give them a little bit of current. Now I'm going to go give you some examples of some filters that make a lot of current and some that don't. So here are some aquarium filter examples. Here's a very good uh, filter that I really love for most aquariums. This is, a 10 gallon, this is just a 10 gallon aquarium. This is a 5 to 20 gallon uh, aquarium filter which is really nice. But there is a dial here. If you turn the dial, it'll change the flow of the water so it's dropped down. And if I turn it, it'll crank the water to more of a current. And there's not much current with these filters, but if you turn it all the way down, there won't be any current. And then if you crank it up, there's a lot of current for aquariums. These ones, on the other hand, just push water out to make a ton of current. Same with the 10 gals. Uh, these are tetras, I believe. Uh, they push the water out and make a ton of current. And these are API, and you can just change the whole current of the water. So here is the Tetra Repti filter. This is a great filter for all amphibians. I have it. I have two of them here. One, of course, this one's not running right now. And I have another one running. This uh, has a lid on it, so your amphibians can't get inside, which is nice because a lot of amphibians can climb even if they're not like tree frogs or something. Comes with two suction cups. One's missing. Uh, they come off really easily, so when you're prying them off the glass, put in like a knife behind it or something to get it off the glass, because they do come off really easily, and then they don't go in very easily. And it also comes with um, this cord that's waterproof all the way up the side, so you don't have to worry about that dangling around. And this is two inches, that. There's a little line in there, uh, two inches, but if you go like that or like a little bit below, it's okay. So like you don't have to have a lot of water. The suction on this isn't uh, really that much so like nothing can really get stuck to it and yeah like I said like there's no current at all as you can see this is the other tank I have it in this is a five gallon so there's some current coming down this and pushing out but it's going down like a water slide if it was to go straight down like that back there it doesn't make any current at all it just kind of like moves it around and this is my uh, Asian floating frog, my Indonesian floating frog, whatever you want to call so it. So I gave you some examples on filters you can use. The first one's the API one, which you can turn the current down, which is a great uh, filter. You can use it for freshwater aquariums from 5 to 20, and then there's larger ones. Um, it's great for full aquariums if you're going to use it for uh, dwarf frogs or African clawed frogs. Then there's the Tetra ones, which are more, uh, more current. So you could use them with the African clawed frogs, not the dwarf frogs, and maybe like a paddle tail newt or something that doesn't mind a lot of current, but like there's not a lot of amphibians that really like that much current. And then the last one that, I was, that I'm talking about is the Repti filter. The Repti filter is one of those ones that you can put lots of current and then there's not a lot of current. One way you can make the filter so it doesn't make as much current is make the water go straight down like I was saying. So the way to make it go straight down is not put anything underneath the filter so it drops straight into the water. But if you don't like that sound, you can always use plants. It's taking uh, plastic plants and cutting them to size so they fit around the filter and then placing them in between an uh, elastic band so it fits around the filter and then it'll trickle down the plants and then that'll make so there's actually no current and actually basically no sound and you can use rocks so it'll flow down the rocks and just kind of just trickle down the rocks and that makes less current. If you don't want to use those and you want a little bit more current, you don't mind current, um, you can take a piece of wood or something long that the water can just like shoot down like a waterfall 
or um, like a water slide almost, it shoots the water down into the water. That makes a little bit more current, but that filter doesn't make a lot of current at all. So I gave you those three examples, and the t first two are great for aquariums, but what are you going to use for a semi-aquatic aquarium that doesn't have much water, maybe four or five inches, two inches max, like not a lot of water. Um, the Repti filter is great for that. Um, you can have even, even less than two inches of water, but it says to have two inches where the line meets, just so you're not sucking a lot of air um, through the filter, and you could ruin the filter and burn it out. So two inches is great. Um, there's lots of amphibians that like two inches, and that's actually like not a lot of water. So that's that's a great filter, and I just told you ways that you can not a lot of current or lots of current if you don't mind. So the reason I made this video is just for something for me to do, but also to show you guys what kind of filters you can use, how you can reduce current, make a little bit more current, and the brands that make a little bit more current, you can reduce the current with the API ones, ones that make quite a bit of current and some don't mind, and the ones that you can use for semi-aquatic environments. Now all these filters are great and you're gonna need a filter for a lot of animals because they're mess eaters and they make a lot of waste when they poo so it's worth having a filter so that just about sums it up any of the fit amphibians that I do care videos on and that the ones I have just check out the filter that I'm using and just check out the way that I'm reducing current or making just a little bit more current or the way that I make the waterfall just so you can check it out and uh, choose the brand that I use anyway and it's always my opinion but if, it's, if you have a better opinion or someone else you know has a good opinion and you know it works then why not use it but if you want to take my opinion for it sure um, that's basically everything guys uh, thanks for watching this has been amphibian boss and peace out